In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some sports fans fix their caching performance. Will we hit a performance buzzer beater? Stay tuned to find out. Geeky Sports is a website devoted to the latest and greatest regarding your favorite sci-fi fantasy-based sports. Uh, yes, they even have coverage of that wizard-based broomstick soccer game with the uh, flying locust thing that people try to catch. Anyhow, their engineering team reached out after they deployed a new CDN and thumbnailing service only to see a massive cash fill cost show up on their cloud bill, yet no performance improvements showing up for their customers. Now, this all sounds like the right setup, so let's try to figure out what's going on. Firstly, to check that the assets were actually being cached, we took a look at the logging information for the load balancer in the cloud console. Each request that's logged will have information detailing if it properly had a cache hit or not. Uh, for example, we can see that the first request resulted in a lookup, a failure, and a fill. Meanwhile, our second request to the same resource results in just a cache hit. Looking back at the logs for Geeky Sports, we can see that the number of cache hit entries is really low for their traffic during the day. So it seems that the requests were getting cached, but not being reused by future requests. Hence the high cache fill bill. Now let's think about this for a second. At their core, CDNs are really just massively distributed hash tables. Uh, when a request comes into the CDN, it converts the URI of that request to a cache key. If that key matches anything that's already been cached, then it just returns the associated object. Now, by default, Google Cloud CDN uses the complete request URI as the cache key, which means if you change the protocol, like uh, moving from HTTP to HTTPS, you're not gonna get a cache hit. And likewise, if the query string is different, you won't get a match either. Either. And that last one seems to be the important one. Looking back at the logged request, Geeky Sports is passing the user token as a URL param, which means that each user was causing each asset to be cached by the CDN individually rather than being shared between users. Thankfully for our geeky friends, the fix is pretty straightforward. Using Google Cloud CDN's custom cache keys, we can modify how the CDN matches URIs for specific assets and tell it to ignore the query string. Uh, looking at the logs, we can see that even though the user ID is different, we got a proper hit on the asset. To learn more about how Geeky Sports decreased their costs, check out the related article linked in the description below. And don't forget to check out the rest of our Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.